Good morning, it's Monday. So here are your energies. Okay, so this is kind of gonna piggyback a little bit off of yesterday. Remember how yesterday the cards of the day were like, we need to get some balance here. We need to communicate, we need to stand up for ourselves, we need to be persistent, right? So today we have the chimp and the chimp says, we need to use both our mind and our intuition, our logic, like we had yesterday with all those swords cards, and our divinely guided intuition, now that our shit's in balance, okay? We need to use that together in harmony to achieve what it is um, that we need to know to make our decisions, to do what we are supposed to do. Now, there's nothing we can't do if those things are in balance, right? So that's where we're starting with this. Now, here's the deal about today. We have the nine of wands. And you can see this one has a fox here. And he's a little bit injured, right? Like he's got this bandage on his head. So intellectually, um, he his thoughts are maybe hurting him or maybe things that other people have said to him, communicated to him. It really hurt. And, you know, it damaged him because he's got the swords here. So it's about thoughts, communications, words hurt, okay? That's where he's at. It's saying the worst is behind him, but he doesn't believe it. He's still standing here ready for a battle if one comes. Like he might be being kind of paranoid, right? Does that make sense? So your fears, your thoughts, the worst of shit is behind you, sweethearts. It really is. Okay, and we need to reframe the way that we think about things, use our intuition and our brain to realize that. And I, I can very confidently say this because with the Ten of Swords being in reverse, okay, that means that we are healing now. We are no longer being shot at, all right? He's got all these swords and he's got all these darts and arrows in his body. No, it's over. It hurt, nearly killed us right? It hurt a fucking lot. But now we can start pulling these out, right? These are just going to fall out now. We are starting to heal. So we don't need to be paranoid that we're going to be hurt again. The worst has already happened. It's already behind us, love bugs. So we have this auburn energy as our colored energy, and it's saying ground yourself, as is the fox. And the fox lives in the woods, doesn't he? And he's like, Get grounded on this shit, because you know what? The worst is behind you. I don't have to be paranoid. I am acting that way, but I don't need to be. I need to reframe my thoughts. So get your thoughts based more on reality, because a lot of the things that we worry about, they never happen, ever, right? The trouble with our thoughts are not our thoughts. It's that we believe them, right? It's that we believe that bad shit's going to happen. It's not. Let's stop with that, okay? So we want to ground ourselves. Now, um, as I was pulling this card, I thought of that Lonely Island video um, where it's like, <laughs> I threw it on the ground. So I'm going to show you a clip of that because that's how I want you to use this energy today. It's silly. It's funny. If I can remember, I'll put a link in um, to the whole video so you can get a good giggle and have some inspiration on how to use this today um, in the description box. But let me see here. All right. This is the part I want you to see. And that's exactly how I feel about this, okay? I'm not going to let my thoughts poison me. I'm going to throw them on the ground. I'm going to ground myself, right? I'm going to get in touch with reality. I'm not going to be part of this system in which I let my negative belief systems, my worries, my fears ruin my life. I'm not. I'm grounding myself. I'm putting myself in reality. I'm realizing that the worst is behind me. Does that make sense? All right. So anyway, with Auburn, you can go outside. You can hug a tree. If you live somewhere where it's um, autumn now, like here, you can go play in the leaves, rake them up. That's what I should be doing today, even though I'm going to be at work instead. Um, you could even, like, 
make a leaf angel because the angels are here supporting you. That's where we get these messages from, right? Just like you would do in the snow. What else do I want to say? Patience, stability. You know, because trees, what does grounding even mean, right? It's saying I'm putting my foot where I'm at. I'm seeing things as they are. What is real? What can I observe? What is tangible? And I am strong. Trees are really strong, right? There's so many trees here. <laughs> so it's being strong. It's um, kind of taking these negative beliefs and these um, limiting thoughts and pushing them into the ground where they can be transmuted, where they can be absorbed, where then we can, by pushing that energy out of our body and into the ground, we have space now for that light, optimism, and love to flow in, okay? That's what this is about. So let me find your um, affirmation here. It'll just take me a second. Um, Divine Spirit, connect me to your infinite power and intelligence, which is good because we're using our brain with the chimp, right, and our um, intuition. So we're getting intelligence two ways here from God, Allah, Spirit Guides, Angels. Um, let me start over. <laughs> Divine Spirit, connect me with your infinite power and intelligence. Allow me to walk my true path of wisdom, peace, and joy. And so this is just further hitting home that point of we don't need to be paranoid. The worst is behind us. Our joy is coming if we believe it. We don't want the law of attraction to be bringing us stuff that we're worried about. We want joy and happiness, but we have to believe that it's coming, okay? And we have to believe that with our heart, and we have to believe that with our mind. So, sorry if you felt like I was yelling at you. I, sometimes it just spews out that way. Um, but my intention of every reading is always just to kind of tell you what the energies of the day are so that you can make better choices, so you can live a happier life, you know? The more people that connect through tarot to divine wisdom um, and make better choices and have happier lives, the more happy people there are walking around the planet, the better the world is. So, love and light. See you tomorrow. Mwah!